I love the background, Gabriel. Yeah. I love the background. That's my usual background. It's not for this interview. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is it true that uh, the production struggled to find, find a stunt for you? Uh, well, my, my double, David, he, Dave, he, he's amazing. He was, uh, he helped me a lot throughout the process of, of shooting. It was hard because, uh, because posture wise, the way I walk, the way I move, even minor movements, somehow it, it's hard for, for, for the double to, to mimic, to, to copy. And then I, I walk a certain way. I, I, you know, I look a certain way. I have this, this a little bit of uh, the way he sees. He's like, almost like not human. Uh, I think the production say like, oh, we cannot double you because we cannot just put somebody with a costume, even in silhouette, we know it's not you. So, <laughs> so, so it was, it was pretty, but you know, Dave, he did an amazing job. He helped me a lot throughout the, the shooting, the, the fights, you know, well, you know, like when they need to, you know, before the shoot, they need to, you know, put the camera angle and stuff, which is Dave helped me with that before I jump in for the shoot. So yeah, maybe it's just me being, Oh, uh, complicated. <laughs> you, 10 years ago, yeah, it was 10 years ago, you were in the amazing film, The Raid. And, and then since that movie, you started your Hollywood career and were in a lot of Hollywood movies. I would like to know, for your experience, does it seem to you that in these years, uh, action, uh, the Hollywood action has tried to mimic what The Raid has changed? Uh, is trying to get to th that kind of uh, technique and precision and, uh, you know, the Asian standard for martial arts. Yeah, um, well, it's not a secret that the raid is a game changer the way we see action. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled, I'm, I'm part of it, that every time I met, every time I work in different countries, everybody's just gonna like, Thank you for the raid. No, no, action action is just uh, more interesting, more fun to watch because the way you guys did. So I believe the raid improved what already what 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 already there. I think the the Hong Kong classic inspired a lot uh, in the making of the raid. It, we I think Gareth Evans and the choreographers they just you know to make it more present, more fresh. And more, more in terms of, of violence, we, we, we want to make people believe that we don't want to hide anything. We don't want to hide anything because, because it's just more reality. And then with the fights, we want to show everything because we, we want people to, to, to get into the fight rather than enjoying the fight from outside. I think that's probably the thing that made the raid is just different the way the way it shot and the way it feels for the audience because when you watch the raid a lot of people told me that they feel like they're inside the fight with most of action movies you can just probably think you still like you feel like an audience because it's just like kick ass jumping around like you know do flashy stuff but you don't really engage into inside the fight so i think Garrett evans did an amazing job with the with the raid and i'm proud to be part of it yeah and for, for this movie, for, for your role, is there a specific uh, um, martial art that you were doing or the style is, uh, it was a mix of different things just uh, made up for this movie? I think Chan Griffin and Anthony, our choreographers for the movie, he, they combine a lot of disciplines, a lot of discipline from, from Chinese martial arts to give justice of Bihan uh, from the Lin Kuei, which is a Chinese uh, clan assassin. So I think they mixed a lot of Kung Fu style, Shaolin style. And you, when you, you watch the movie, there are like claw style in you, like the, the, the fight with Jax which, when he rips him apart. That's a specific Shaolin style, like uh, mimicking. And uh, I think it's probably an eagle style. He just, you know, he just, rip at all parts of his body with his claw. So that's very Chinese martial arts. And then I think Bihan 
train from the Lin Kuei. They they just train him with a lot of like badass, like superpower. No, not superpower. Uh, like really deep ancient uh, Chinese martial arts. So it's a mix. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gabrielle.